Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. We're going to be rebellious people. That means we're not about to get along. That means when the laws come out, we're not going to want to edify. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to be saved. They don't think, they think they got all the answers. But our people are rebellious, God says. We are rebellious. Read that again. This, this is a rebellious people. Our people are rebellious. We know the right thing to do and will not do it. We know it's wrong to smoke cigarettes. We know it's killing us, but we are still doing it. We know it's wrong to sell drugs. You will see somebody lose their kids. Isaiah 30 verse 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Read that again. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Our people would not hear the law of the Lord. God prophesied that we're going to be rebellious. That's what he said. We're going to have, it's going to be rebellious people. That means we're not about to get along. That means when the laws come out, we're not going to want to edify. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to be saved. They don't think, they think they got all the answers. But our people are rebellious, God says. We are rebellious. Read that again. This, this is a rebellious people. Our people are rebellious. We know the right thing to do and will not do it. We know it's wrong to smoke cigarettes. We know it's killing us, but we are still doing it. Right. We know it's wrong to sell drugs. You will see somebody lose their kids. Brother, I got a question for you. So, you love God? You love God. So, now, how do you love God, brother? What's your name? They call me Paul. They call you Paul. Okay, all praise. So, Paul, how do you, how does somebody show that they love God? I brother, right? Treat each other. How they treat each other, how they treat other people? All right, that's one way. What else? How you show that you love God? How do you show that you love God, though? You said that they treat each other, that's good. What else? Okay, I'll pray. Be grateful. Uh, give me that again. Go to John 14, 15. So I want to show you out of Christ's mouth himself, how do you love God? Because this is important, right? You want to know how to love God, right? Do you want to know? What great. John 14 verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Christ says if you love him, we have to keep the commandments. That's how we show that we love God. Did you know that? I know now. Okay, I'll pray. So let me ask you a question. Um, are you familiar with the Israelites? You know anything about this movement? So we want to show you out the Bible that we saying, bro, uh, according to the Bible, we are the children of Israel. We are God's chosen people. Have you ever heard that before? So we got, it was 12 tribes in the Bible. And it tells you, according to the Bible, what is your, what, what do you identify with? Out of all these Judah American black, Benjamin West Indies, would you call yourself American Black? That's right. I call myself American Indian. Are you American Indian? So you'll be from the tribe of Gad. Yeah. So your father was Indian? Yeah, yeah, I grew up in Okay, I'll pray. So that means that you'll be from the tribe of Gad. But when they came over here, they took our identity. They called us Native Americans. That wasn't our true identity, right? So we had our identity before they was conquered. They had a whole different identity, correct? So just like we wasn't black, 
Negro. We wasn't called that before. Before slavery, we had different names. But they once you get conquered by a people, they change your name, right? That's what happened, Paul. So read, read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. So are you familiar with the Bible? So in the Bible, when Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, they crossed the Red Sea, and he gave them all the commandments that we need to do in order to show that God and Christ, that we love them, right? So he gave them the laws. Read. I'm going to show you. He gave them the laws, and then he told them the consequence for not keeping the laws. This is how we're able to identify that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, today are the children of Israel. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He says, if you don't listen, it shall come to pass, mean, it means uh, this will happen. This will happen if you do not keep the laws of God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. It's always talking about the commandments all throughout the Bible. This is our code of conduct, conduct Paul. Don't you think he's supposed to live by a certain code? Right, and this is what this is. He says, read that again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he's saying, if you do not keep these commandments, you don't do them, live by them, make sure that you're applying them, guess what? A curse is going to be put on you, right? So when you think about our people, the Native Americans, right? Are they a cursed people? What do you think of? What comes to mind when you think of a curse? Something, something, not, good. something not good, right? So you think somebody has a curse on them, that means all a lot of bad stuff going to happen to them, right? Right. So that's what we, that's what we're talking about. He says a lot of bad things are going to happen if you do not keep my commandments. Just like if you had children, they don't abide by your rules, bad things are going to happen to them, right? They sneak out the house, they maybe get arrested, they maybe can get shot. A lot of things can happen, right? They maybe can get something stole from them, or they don't apply they don't your rules, right? Or they let somebody in, in your house, and then you get home and then you punish them. These are all bad things that can happen to a child. But we are called the children of Israel, right? So read that, verse 16. Verse 16, Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So when our people, when you think about our people, right? Are we a cursed people? Any cities that we live in, how are those cities? Cursed. Curse. How are those cities? What happens in those cities where our people are at? You said what? Tell, tell me some things that's not good. A lot of crime, right, a lot of robbery, a lot of murders, a lot of shootings. All these things is happening, right? A lot of ba babies getting shot, police pulling people over, we're seeing sirens going off down the streets all over the place. That's a curse. That is a curse that our people deal with. When we live in our neighborhoods, we don't live in peace. Look at our neighborhoods. It's trash all over the place. We have no restaurants. We gotta get all our food from other people. This is a curse because God chose God chose the people decided not to do what the Bible said do. This is what's going on. Read that again from the top. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So when was the Native Americans cursed in the field? You know? Slavery. 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 So they, they had to work the tobacco fields. They had to work the sugar cane fields. So if they didn't come back, you know what happened to them when, if they didn't come back with a, enough sugar cane or tobacco? You know what, what, what they would do to them? Kill them. They'd kill them. And sometimes it's worse. Not, I guess nothing worse than death, but right. they would cut their hands off. They cut their hands off if they didn't come with the right amount of pro product. They worked in the minefields. They worked in all hard jobs. Who has the hardest job today? 
the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is the curse that God said was going to be on us if we did not follow these rules. This is what's going on. So have you, have you ever wondered why is our communities the way they are? You ever wonder why, like, man, you drive out to different areas, like, it's cleaner over here. Oh, I, don't, I see a whole lot of stores over here. Well, I see there's not a lot of abandoned buildings over here. But when you come to our places, what you see? Abandoned buildings. All bad, it's bad stuff, all right. People, people walking around looking like zombies, to be frank, right? So we're trying to get our people to wake up and come back to, to what they need to get on their mind is these laws. And like I showed you before, if you love God, guess what you would do? You would be keeping the commandments. You would make sure that you plan on what this Bible is saying. So read verse 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. A they shall be upon thee for a sign. So God said that the curses, the curses of us being cursed in the city, the curses of us being at the bottom of society, it says, they shall be upon thee for a sign. So that means in the last days, people was going to start waking up to be able to see the sign that we are God's chosen people. The sign is the curses. The sign is the curses. We're going to go over more curses. But the sign is the curses that identify who you are because we lost our nationality. We have no nationality. Everything that we do, we got it from another nation. We celebrate Christmas. Who we get that from? The European, Thanksgiving, European, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, 4th of July coming up. We selling somebody else independence. Did we ever get our independence? July, July, 4th of July, did we ever get our independence? No, we did not get our independence. We never was, re we was released, but guess what? We never was sent back home. We never was given any money. We never was given any reparations, no 40 acres in the mule. Guess what happened after they released us? We still call here. We didn't have, they didn't give us jobs. They didn't give us nothing. Just think about how everything transpired and how everything still is today. So read what you got, 46. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. It says for a sign. So like I said, they was going to identify us in his last days. But also for a wonder, those questions that we should be having in our head. Things like, why is, why is all my people on drugs? Why is all, all of, a lot of our people alcoholics? Why is a, a lot of our people got diseases? Why is they got gout? Why is they feet, you see people's feet swollen up? Why is this happening to our people? And it don't, it don't happen to everybody else like it's happening to us. It does happen to other nations, but to us, it is magnified because we are God's chosen people. Read. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. Going upon thy seed. What's somebody's seed? What would, be, what would be considered your seed? Your children, right, Paul? So it said, it shall be upon your children forever. So you know how long the Bible was written? Thousands and thousands of years ago, right? But this, the curses are still holding true, even after all this time passed, right? Don't you see that? So God, this book, this is a living book. It's a living Bible. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord.